Hi, it's Ollie Wright from Annex Planning. I just thought this week I would answer a question I often get asked. It does my granny annex need planning permission? Well, a simple answer is yes, it does. Now, why is that? Well, as soon as you introduce sleeping accommodation, living accommodation into your outbuilding, it no longer benefits from Class E permitted development rights. Now, that's the legislation used to construct all these garden buildings we see all around, perhaps these garden studios such as home offices, home gyms, cinema rooms, they utilise Class E PD rights, which means they don't need to get planning permission. But as soon as you introduce sleeping or living accommodation, it's no longer considered incidental, one of the requirements of this Class E permitted development rights, but instead it's ancillary. So the next question I get asked is how can I ensure that my annex is going to get planning permission? How can I give it the best chance of success. So here's a few top tips. If you can, try and keep your annex as small as practically possible. Limit it to one bedroom, an open plan living and dining area, a small kitchenette, and also your wet room and bathroom. By keeping it as small as possible, that really shows it's subordinate to the main house. It's a secondary building, not a primary function. Also, try and keep the annex as close to the dwelling as possible. This really reinforces that ancillary and functional relationship with the main house. Try and ensure that the annex doesn't have any independent access. It can be accessed by a rear gate or, or side access. Ensure that any electricity or, or water is not independently metered as well, that it shares its services from the main house. All these things really help that ancillary argument when it comes to justifying a planning application for a granny annex. Now a great service that IHUS offer is a feasibility study, a planning feasibility study. This is where they'll look at your site in a bit more detail, look at the constraints, look at the opportunities, but also just briefly research uh, the local planning policies on annexes just to ensure there's no restrictions from your local planning authority. All this then is put into a report and sent to you as the customer to really help you get a better idea of what you can achieve on your site. So if you're thinking about getting a granny annex, please reach out to iHoose and I'd be more than happy to assist you.